Bambox Bill Murray sold for $9.99 free shipping. Caterpillar, new with tag, vintage security snapback dead stock hat, sold for $17.99 free shipping. Vintage dead stock John Deere Swingster jacket. The buyer had some sense on this one. They uh, messaged me and said, hey, Am I going to get this before Christmas? And I said, not if you buy it with priority mail. Let's uh, work it out so that you can buy it for FedEx mail. And they uh, paid me $49.98 uh, free shipping. It's a pretty cool piece. I don't typically get my thumb in the way on these things, but I saw a shadow on my face from my arm on the other way. Hopefully, I can get a tripod here pretty quick. But I don't buy myself stuff in November and December because then it can't land under the tree. How about some Silver Tab jeans? $29.99 free shipping. These are probably, I can tell you for sure, they're $19.94. Silver Tab, Levi Silver Tabs, 30 bucks. This I just listed this morning. It's a uh, Game Boy that I picked up yesterday and it works, but it doesn't have a battery back. Uh, and it came with a Powerpuff Girls thing inside of it. And it sold for $27.99 $20, free shipping. Better than that, $27.99 plus shipping. This little thing is the ejection seat out of a Crash Test Dummies toy. And it sold for $5.53. $5.50. $5 and some amount of change uh, plus shipping. I was just junk in the bottom of a box that I managed to figure out what it is and made eight bucks i've been hitting so much good stuff recently i probably don't even need to go in this store but i was driving by it and, and they like me to drive by a thrift store let's do it Her face this way. Callaway. Hmm. I like that. Weather Tamer made in America. That's cool. Just a cool old, that's definitely a vintage messenger bag or something. That's neat. 1989. Oh, that's neat. That's vintage too. That's old. Tell when you touch it that it's. Huh. 
No, not as old as I thought it was, 2001. Okay, so this is brand new sealed head comps between $10 and $20, honestly. Um, and there was one sold comp at $0.99, cents, but that, I figured that was probably an outlier. This is, you saw me check it inside, it's sealed on both sides. So it is brand new in the packaging. I don't even know exactly what it is. Well, I mean, it's a pump to pull air out of the Ziploc bags, evidently. And then this is in the box and it's this piece of terracotta and it's uh, it was $3.50. They told me this lid was part of it, but I guarantee you that it's not. Anyway, um, I was, eh, doesn't matter. Um, but it's, it's terracotta, it's wine, it's vintage. I couldn't find any sold comps on even the company that made it, this uh, Terraware. So I took a chance on it for $350. I don't imagine I'm going to get hurt too bad, even if I throw it away. I'm only out $350, but I suspect that it's like, I suspect $20 plus shipping, but I, but I don't have any way to know. All right, so that last place was not was a little overpriced today it normally isn't this place normally is but sometimes you catch them sleeping so we'll see So what are you guys hollering at me about that I should be picking up? Because I don't see anything. Air Force Ones? Holy cow. Fantastic. There were a pair of Air Force Ones for 10 bucks. They didn't comp very high, which surprised me a little bit. They were from 07. And then there was a <coughs> Russell's Athletic made in the US. So it was vintage, but there wasn't nothing either. I may not even show you guys. I saw that camera down. Uh, there wasn't much of anything in there, so. I may not even show you guys that. I may just uh, show you this. Later. Joseph Prince is a televangelist guy, but my grandma really likes him, so I picked those up because I knew the name. Those can be good because the only place to get those CDs is ordering them from their websites, and those are expensive. Uh... But I picked those up for 99 cents and I think they sold for $9. Um, yeah, they sold for $9 free shipping, but I'm in, I'm in them for a dollar. So that's making money. I don't normally do well with McDonald's um, Happy Meal toys, but these are from 1999 and they're pretty neat. Um, and I had three of the four the, for the whole set and they only sold for $6.99 plus shipping, but the fries turn into a cell phone. 
and the chicken nuggets turn into a uh, camera or something. And then a Happy Meal box turns into a computer, but it's harder to get it to do it. Those sold for a for six ninety nine plus shipping. This uh, Olympus camera sold for fifteen ninety nine free shipping. I put batteries in it. It seemed to function, but I'm certainly not going to put film in it and make it and develop and see how it comes out. I it's tested enough. <laughs> and this is Cher. She's had a haircut. Her dress is in terrible condition. In nice shape, she's worth some money, but she only sold for $6.99 plus shipping because uh, she's in terrible condition. Doesn't have any of the accessories that she came with. She's had a haircut and her dress is terrible. So uh, that's probably about as low as that figure would go. But if you, you can, some of that, that's a 1974 Mego and some of that stuff gets really expensive for that Cher or Sunny figures, but... Uh, this one just wasn't uh, great. That stuff is all stuff you'll see in a haul video sometime soon. I had twice this week, I had a friend, I had friends say, hey, I was gonna take this stuff to Goodwill, do you want it first? And I said, bring it on. And the one person I just said, I'll take most of this, so what I don't want, I'll take to Goodwill. And the other one, they were running some errands, so they dropped it off came back in an hour and they took it to Goodwill and I took five or six things out of it. But, um, the, so those last three items, uh, the camera, the McDonald's toys and the share were all free. So I just thought that was kind of neat. People know what I do and know that I'm going to Goodwill to buy stuff. And they're like, why don't I just give it to you instead of give it to Goodwill? It works well for me. Picked up this 1986 Banana Republic, uh, Hunter's Vest. Sold for $40 free shipping. I got it for $3.99 like two weeks ago at Goodwill. This hat, Jordan uh, Wings hat. I don't always think to check. I pick up hats a lot. When you find a lot of hats at a garage sale and you're like, yeah, yeah, okay, yep, yep, I want that one. Um, and you end up with five or six. Sometimes one or two will end up being a youth hat. I've done, I've got two or three youth hats. I normally don't buy them because they don't sell well, uh, even even a Jordan hat. Uh, and the other one that I have is Harley Davidson and they, they don't, Harley and Jordan hats would sell, but youth hats just do not sell at most any price. So I've had this for like six months. It sold for $11.99. Um, free shipping. Camera lens. Uh, this one sold for $15.99 free shipping, but it was part of a box of camera stuff that I bought for $20. And when you find camera stuff, normally it's a collection. Normally you're buying the camera, three or four lenses, some flashes, literature, that kind of stuff. Uh, and if you, if you get a handful of things and part it out, normally those parts don't sell for a ton. I mean, sometimes you can find some stuff that's really, really valuable, but more often than not, each of the lenses is worth 15 bucks. The camera is worth 35. And if you pick the whole thing up for $20, you can, you can make some good money piecing the things out, but it takes some time. So this lens I've had for probably six, eight months. Um, but I think it's the last piece of that. And I bet I made a hundred dollars on that $20 purchase. And I picked this up. It's sealed. It's like a CD ROM for your computer that reads these, uh, children's books. It's older. Um, obviously that technology it's Disney, so it doesn't have a date on it. Um, but it, uh, I picked it up for two ninety nine. It sold for twelve ninety plus media mail shipping. And the last item to sell is this Vespa poster. I picked this up from a buddy of mine who does all kinds of transportation stuff. And I think I paid $40 for it. I've had it a good long while and it sold for $119.99 plus shipping. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to ship, but it won't be too bad. Um, I'll just wrap it in a little bit of bubble wrap and a whole lot of cardboard and write do not bend on it and it'll be fine. But I've been keeping it up there so that it doesn't get damaged. Uh, so I got to get it down. So how do you ship something like that Vespa poster? Here's what I did. 
I took two of the small boxes from Walmart, um, and I keep five or six of these on hand all the time. They're like 75 cents or something, it's crazy, for a 14 by 14 by 12. So I just slit the end of the box and then sandwich that up in there, and it's probably this far from the end on each side. Um, and then I did two of them because I really don't want a $120 poster to get bent. I wrote, please do not bend. And then I shrink wrapped the, I taped the edges and shrink wrapped the whole thing so that I think it's, I think it's good. I, I did, I took a label and put, please do not bend. And I'll, I'm going to use this one and do it again on the back. That's what I do. All right. Well, this video is like weeks old at this point. Some of that stuff, um, I think I got that free share and camera and stuff like two or three, two and a half weeks ago or so. So just keep that in mind when you're watching the video or when you're thinking about the video now that you've already watched it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I've got a couple more coming up here pretty quick. Uh, hopefully you're well. We'll see you on the next one.